But I also want to now talk a little bit about more of what happened in the courtroom because right after you saw the hug and the embrace with uh, both uh, Jean's brother and Amber Geiger, you also saw some extraordinary grace extended by the um, by the judge. And so uh, Jason Trahan was actually inside the uh, courtroom and I want him to tell you exactly what the judge told Amber Geiger because it was quite incredible. Well, Rebecca, um, that was one of the, th I've never seen anything like that in 20 years covering courts. Um, after Botham John's brother got permission from the judge to hug Amber, which was extraordinary, and all the deputies, they had no clue how to handle that because that's a security concern. Um, but once, once she gave that permission, the whole tenor of the courtroom changed. Um, then the judge went down off of the di off of the bench and talked to the family, and then she went over and spoke directly to Amber, and then she got down and spoke to her in her ear, and then she got upset and she left the courtroom. This is the judge I'm talking about. The judge returned with a book in her hand, and she said, "Amber, this is a this is a I have three or four of these Bibles. I want you to have this." And she gave her one of her Bibles to take with her into jail. And then she started to talk to her about the Bible. And the judge said, this is your job while you're in custody. And she turned to John 3.16 and said, this will strengthen you. And then began instructing her on, on how she should comport herself over the next 10 years. And everybody in the courtroom is just standing there with their mouths open. And most of us are trying not to cry while we're watching this happen. Um, Amber then hugs the judge and tells her something that prompts the judge to say, um, oh, it's not me that's good. It's because I'm a believer in Christ. Um, and she says, I'm not so good. You haven't been, uh, you haven't done as much as you think you have, and you can be forgiven. She urged Amber to forgive herself because we heard from, te and during testimony, some of our friends said Amber had had a hard time forgiving herself for what had happened, understandably. Um, this is also the judge. She said, quote, you did something bad in one moment in time. What you do now matters. And that's how it ended. The judge hugged her again and then said, you take that with you, and gave her the Bible. And Amber is at this point crying, and they take her into the secure area where the felons go. And that was how it worked. That's how it ended.